But would y'all fuck him is the question. Most nice guys tend to fall in last place. Nice guys don't win. Today, we're actually going to be doing a follow-up video, and it's going to be those same five guys, and this time, they are going to be ranking themselves from one to five based on attractiveness, and the same group of women are going to re-rank them based on the female perception. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, hello, hello Jeff. <laughs> All right, I think I'm good. To okay, so starting off, I just want to pause real quick so we can see the current default. This is, again, in no particular order. This is just what Jubilee assigned to them. It's going to be the Asian guy at the least attractive, followed by the white guy, short guy, Hispanic guy, and then black guy at the most attractive. Okay, again, this is in no particular order and just the default. Based on Chun Li's knowledge of what women like, and again, not based on Chun Li's preferences, I actually think that the white guy is going to be first in that lineup, followed by the Latino guy, followed by the black guy, then the Asian guy, and then the short king. The only other way I could see this happening is going to be white guy, Latin guy, Asian guy, followed by a black guy, then the short king. And I'm only saying that because whenever you're asking women based on their preferences, what do they want in a man is always going to be a six pack, six figures, and six feet. And I obviously, I don't know the height of these men, but the short king looks like he's at least six inches off from the next guy. That's just my expectation of what the results are going to be. But I'm very curious to see how men rank themselves. Well, shoot, I guess first of all, right off the bat, I, think, I don't know about you guys, but this guy looks like a young Vin Diesel. Yeah. So I think he should just <laughs> skedaddle <laughs> over to the front. And have you guys seen his eyes? <laughs> What? Yeah, look at his oh, eyes. I wanted to do because you got blue eyes. Oh, no, oh. I like his eyes. Oh. Yeah. Pause. You like his eyes? Nah, bro. It's like already like I really don't know because all of the men actually seem very friendly based on their initial engagement. Okay, again, I do not know these men, but Latin guy knows he's wrong for putting short king in the front. Like you already freaking know. Like it doesn't matter how handsome your face is. It does not matter how buff you are. You are not gonna be top choice. You're just not. Women are not going to look at a guy that is 5'4 and see him as a protector, even if he is trained and has a black belt in jujitsu. Most women are going to overlook him. I feel like when they put the short kings in the front, it's very similar to when women say that Lizzo is pretty or when you say that that girl in the dress, please go back and watch that last video. OK, but for the women to put the girl that is overweight at the very front of the line, just because she had a great personality, women, you're wrong for that. And now men, you guys are wrong for putting short king in the front because now he's going to get embarrassed and that's not good. I think I got a man. He's probably the most fit. Yeah. Yeah. He, he chose a good shirt. I'll make my way over here then. <laughs> I get a lot of compliments and even though I don't really take compliments well, I guess there's been enough evidence to where I know that people find me attractive. But are you getting laid? Or are you just listening to the men around you, the men that are in your friend group telling you that you're a handsome fellow? What's, wh what is it? And I, again, I don't know you, so I'm just curious. When you say that there's enough evidence to show you that you are attractive, what is that evidence? Where are we doing the survey? Maybe you are the bomb diggity dog. You know, like if you are your height and you're over in Asia, because most men are five, 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 six over there. So your height is not a big factor. Okay. So again, I don't know. These men like already like Latin guy, you're Delulu for putting him in the first place. And you short king, you're Delulu for saying that it is evident and that you understand that you are attractive based on your experience in the world. I feel like what we should do is just say what we think we are. Okay. Wait, no, you, you don't get a say. You don't get a say. Okay. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go three. Three? Yeah. So I would can say, we double up? I think we're three. <laughs> I, I would personally put myself a four or five. Yeah, I'd say four or five. I think. Yo, y'all being humble. Okay. I can understand being humble as well and having a little bit of humility about yourself. I'm curious to know their personalities though, because it really depends. It really, really does depend. It's like if you have a Brad Pitt or someone that is objectively attractive based on society and you are humble, but you say, oh, I'm not that hot. I'm Sofia Vergara, but I'm not that attractive. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm average. Okay, no, 
Now you're just fishing for compliments, okay? But again, not everyone is because a lot of people actually tell me that I have low self-esteem or that I don't have self-confidence, and I do. I really do like myself. However, I understand where my place is within the world. I understand that I'm not the most beautiful woman. I know that I'm the, the most eye-catching woman. I don't have the most bodacious body. So no, for me, I, I do think that I'm average. And so I really do hope that I'm not misinterpreting him and projecting. <laughs> I really hope that, well, I hope that he has high self-esteem. But at the same time, it's like, I understand based on your upbringing and the treatment that you had when you were younger, you might still have some of that insecurity within you. You guys should duke it out and just say, why well, you're a three. I feel like I'm tall enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the shortest guy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I'm fine with that. Nah, you look like you put a lot of work in yourself. I thought he was gonna be number one, to be honest. Okay. So for me, he at least has to be a three or a two. I, I don't wanna be like rude or blunt, but he kinda looks like a frat boy. So I think he should be like a- And exactly what is wrong with being a frat boy? Maybe you might have the reputation of being a douche or you have a reputation of being a fuck boy. But I really don't think that there's anything wrong with being a frat boy or being a nerd or being a drama geek or theater geek or whatever it may be. It's like these are just titles and labels that society places on you. Okay. So I think frat boys get hella laid. If anything, frat boy has riz. I think that having a stereotypical look at his early age, and I'm assuming they're all in their early 20s, I think it's going to work in your favor. It's like looking like a Kardashian. Everybody knows that they have toxic mentalities and bad behavior and they're ratchet, essentially. But we also can acknowledge the fact that they are pleasing to the eye. I actually don't know how these women are going to rank these men based on attractiveness just because, again, whenever they're ranking themselves, when women are ranking themselves, they incorporate things like personality, clothing style, or whether you're an introvert, extrovert, things of that nature. So I don't know if they're going to place that same standard on the men or are they going to get down to the more rudimental things such as your height, your weight, your mass, like, you know, like how strong do you look? Things like that. I don't know. Latino boy, probably. I don't know what it is. Like maybe you were always compared to white guys. And so now for you in internally, maybe you have a bias towards white men. White men that are too vanilla, that are too cookie cutter no go right so i think he should be like a three <laughs> can i put a word in for myself that i'm go, not a frat boy <laughs> <laughs> i feel like we should switch he might be a frat boy he might not be but homeboy said he was studying astrophysicist and he is a didn't he say air force like if anything like even if the women incorporate career or aspiration or anything like that like that is so hot astrophysicist like astrophysics it's so hard i don't even know okay but i know that physics is hard so throwing Astro into it, I can only imagine it being 10 times harder, okay? <laughs> so no, I love a smart man. I love intelligent men that can banter, men that can go back and forth, men that are witty. So no, it's not always about educational attainment, although that is impressive because it shows determination and it shows motivation and it shows discipline, okay? Let's just be real. Or at least for me, at least for me. <laughs> I feel like we should switch. I mean, that's why I disagree. I think you're up there, personally. I'm content with being four. Four or five? I stick with five. You're a pretty good looking guy. I, I think, you're, I think you're pretty cute too, Roy. <laughs> I think I'm a pretty attractive person overall, but seeing them and learning more about their personalities, I wasn't going to argue that they're least attractive than me. I think it's very ironic. And if you go back to that first video I made, you're going to also notice that the Asian girl had a very similar response. She said that I could tell that a lot of, of these women don't want to be the least attractive. So I'll just stay here, even though I don't think I'm unattractive. I will just stay here because I'm not going to argue with them about this. I actually think that that is one of the more attractive traits. It's just understanding and being sympathetic of where other people are coming from, but at the same time being very aware of where you are. <laughs> I personally feel that you should rank higher. Yeah, I feel like uh, you should be two or know, three. If yeah. you guys, I don't know if the cameras can pick it up, but I woke up with blemishes today. I got a <laughs> crooked nose. I broke it a few years ago, man. I've always had problems with my image, especially when I was younger, like around middle school. I got like horrible, horrible acne. You know, I'm left with like the scars and stuff. So that always like really like kind of hurt my confidence. Well, yeah. that seems like a big deal. Okay, see, that's what I was hoping for. And I'm not hoping for as far as like, I don't, 
I don't wish that upon anyone that experience but at the same time I was hoping for that because I was trying to understand where the humble and humility was coming from because he is an attractive guy and for him to not feel that way about him there has to be an experience there has to be some sort of interaction that he had in his past that makes him believe that to you but none of us yeah, like yeah, even yeah, notice that you gotta be too dumb I just, no no because no. you're bigger like you can't even tell, man. No, I can't tell you. Tell you, show us. Hey, there we go. Hey, there's another two. There's another two. Hey, there's another little, like, man. I got tattoos, too. Okay. Right, let me scoot on down, bro. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I love how that guy just went ahead and scoot on down. Like, it's like, I love that men can be so much more realistic. It's like they kind of, like, I see the lineup. I'm going to assume plus or minus one where I'm at. Three. I'll take a three. You, you, I, yeah, you're content. You're I, I'll you're take three. Three's no, cool. You're right here. You right here. I would say you two, three, four, five. No offense. Love you. So he's two because of what? I don't know. Maybe I have a thing for white boys. <laughs> I don't know. It's not just him that has a thing for white boys. Remember the OK Cupid stats that I showed you guys? That infographic. Most women, when they're on dating apps, actually swipe right on the white guys. It doesn't matter if you're vanilla. Okay. Like honestly, like low key. Look at Jack Harlow. I'm vanilla, baby. You know what? But you got swag. You got a little bit of drip on you. You got a little bit of sauciness to you. You increase in, in, in sexy value. Okay. And I'm letting you know right now. I know this video is about men ranking themselves, but this is going to be a tip for men. Okay. Especially the white men. I know there's been a couple of hard years out here for you guys, but I'm letting you know right now. Whenever you want to know what is going to be trendy as far as aesthetic or looks, look at the Kardashian, okay? Latinos and white men are up again. They're going with the Pete Davidsons. They're going with the MGKs. They're going with the Blink-182, okay? So just let that sink in. Your time is coming. But there's going to be plenty of liberal women that still won't date you. There's going to be plenty of progressive women that still think that because you're a white man that you're inherently evil. I don't know. Let's see if Chun-Li's predictions are right. <laughs> For, from my opinion and from my experience, he would be like higher on the, the mm -hmm. ranking. I, I think he's not. I'm sorry I keep pausing this. I know you guys get so annoyed when I keep interjecting, but I think it's actually really ironic that... Short King over here says that based on his experience, the white guy would rank higher, but he is not aware enough to know that Short Kings are never top dog. They're not. And again, is that unfair? Yes, because you have no say in that. Okay, but life is unfair. So again, it's ironic that you can acknowledge how attractive he might be to the female gaze. But at the same time, not realize your placement is very skewed, sir. Very, very skewed. And I'd be very, very surprised if when the women rank you and you're still top dog. I would honestly say that I'd be surprised if you were top two. Okay? And there's only five of y'all. <laughs> It's your prescription still with your I guess. He's on the five. No, I mean, just look at him. Yeah, this guy's yeah. dripped out. That's true, dude. He put some work look at, in. Look at his, he got oh, the beanie. And he's got, the, we, we forgot about the jeans. Oh, yeah, that's like plus points. <laughs> he's still got. No, the floral pattern on your jeans are not going to give you plus points. And the beanie is also not going to give you an additional point on the attractive scale. It's just not. It's like when bigger women go on a show and rank themselves as 10 because they have a cute outfit on or because they were laid once upon a time. If they're delusional, you can be as well. Like the freaking Asian guy is, is, is bigger than the black guy. Like as far as like, you know, so no, no, you're not going to be there just because you got some fucking flower patterns on your jeans. It's, it's, it's not happening. Like the fat chick from the last episode, she was the only one with a dress on. She was the only one with her tits out, and she was still dead last. So get out of my face. You got more, lady. You got more. Appearance? Yeah, I wish I was a little bit bigger, a little, little bit stronger. Okay, so where am I? See, he knew it. It's not just a me thing. He knew that he's too skinny. I think it's basically just. At least there's awareness. Where would you put me? Where would I put you? Yeah. Right here is cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he don't like the white guy, huh? He was already asking, like, why Why would he be a number three and why would I be number four? What is the reason for that? 
And then now the white guy's like, where would you place me? And say, nah, you good. Where you at? Latin guy and short Vin Diesel thought that the white guy should be higher. So I don't know. Are we are we going off of the consensus of the group? Or is it just based on how you feel and you don't want to be lower ranked? See, no one even talked about the Asian guy whatsoever. It's like literally, we're just going to bypass you. Like you're not even a contender. You're an NPC, non-playable character. We're not looking at you because Asian men are typically ranked on the bottom of the totem pole as far as masculinity goes. We even saw that within the OK Keep It stat. I think it's very interesting to see that even amongst men, the Asian guy got no play. He like, we are not even like the short guy. We talked about how pretty your eyes were, how muscular you were. The Latin guy, we talked about his muscles as soon as he took off his jacket. The black guy, we talked about his swagger, his beanie, his flowers on his pants. The white guy, Vin Diesel, thought he was hot. Hispanic guy thought that he was a frat guy but what like you guys literally shared no positive and no negative comments on the Asian guy like he was literally just a wallflower and he knew that and he stood his place and that was that hey good you're all happy yes, yes. Okay. I want to pause right here because again this is the group of women that we were looking at yesterday. This is actually the same group of women that ranked themselves, and this is the same group of men that re-ranked them, and now they're basically flip-flopping it, okay? So when I kept talking about the chubby chick or the girl in the last episode that ranked herself as a one or a two, it's it's, it's this one. It's, it's this one right here. Homegirl in the dress, the only one in the dress, the only one with her tits out, the only one that talked about her relationship status, and I wonder why. Uh, when the guys were ranking each other, it's like a first impression type of. Oh, yeah. And Asian girl right here, home girl right here. She was actually ranked number one amongst those women. Again, I said it last time. I said it this time. They're all average. I'm average. We're just ranking the averageness of we're just ranking the averageness of these individuals. Thing. So basing off how you look and the conversation that we heard for a little. Time out. Time out. Pause, pause, pause. I need to see their booties. I can't. <laughs> Once again, the only person sexualizing the entire experience is going to be chubby chick. Why is that? You're the only one talking about how single you are. And now you're the only one asking to look at booties. Okay. You like, how would you feel if a man was to say, oh, they got pretty faces, but let me go ahead and ask out for a 360. Go ahead. Go ahead and objectify yourself and show me your sex appeal because that is going to be how I rank you on attractiveness. Nothing, <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Right. Good for them. Have some dignity. Right no. And get him out of that spot. He, yeah. I feel like he, he would give you flowers. Like, oh he'd go to your doorstep. Yeah. By far, if I was sick, I'd call him to take care of me. Exactly. That's it. Like, flat out. Oh, Roy's a sweetheart. Oh, I love him. I wanted him to talk more. I felt like all the boys talked over poor Roy. Honestly, I love little baby Roy. He just got shoved to the back of the line every single time. And I was like, this poor kid. But would y'all fuck him is the question. Most nice guys tend to fall in last place according to modern western women nice guys don't win so i don't understand like you guys calling him sweet baby roy oh my gosh baby gaga roy all this dumb shit but would you fuck him and of course it's going to be the chubby chick and the androgynous looking girl that is like oh my god we feel bad for roy like shut up Fitness for me and as a general whole i was like who am i wanting to go hang out with right now like if we were done after no okay they're looking at who am i gonna friend zone and he is gonna get the high ranking like shut up okay shut up like, if we were done after this like, we would i be like coffee. Oh, you grab coffee my yeah. number one would be spill the tea Kaylin. he looks like a bootleg michael b jordan no, so he, he doesn't. will go first no he, no, he doesn't we love no, michael, michael b jordan <laughs> not all black people look alike girl you should know better out of, every, out of everyone in this panel, you should know better. Not all black people look like, and he does not look like no damn Michael B. Jordan. Like, shut up. Astrophysics? <laughs> yeah. He has a nice haircut. Like his eyes. I felt like I had They're a very awful. friendly vibe from him. Exactly. Just his, like, eyes from and his him. smile. So, I thought Sam was the most attractive to me. He wasn't striving to be number one. He was just like, place me where I am, and I'll take that. I feel exactly. like he's friends with his mom, yeah, and I did that. Nice. Yeah. But I feel like he also might, like, cheat on you. No. Yeah. 
trying to think of something like, drastic he, here. He's a Trump supporter. She's a lib guaranteed she's a lib like why are you looking at someone and judging them based on their political views that you don't even like you don't even fucking know you don't even know his name and you are looking at him and because he's a white guy that has a haircut and is dressed normally now all of a sudden he has to be a trump supporter this is why i'm going to go ahead and assume that androgynous women are liberals because this is the same mentality that you guys go into it. You guys don't want me to judge you for having blue hair. You don't want me to judge you for being fat. But you're judging the astrophysicist blonde hair white guy for being a Trump supporter. And, and the Latin guy too for judging this normal ass looking white guy for being a frat boy which has a negative connotation. Like why do you guys think this way? This is the implicit bias that we all have. We all just have it in different areas, okay? So yes, androgynous girl that ranked herself as a number one and actually fell down to a number three? No, no, shut up. And honestly, even if he did support Trump, he'd probably get one or two more points as far as personality goes because values, bro, values. I'm gonna go ahead and link that video down below. But remember when I told you guys that an issue as far as Gen Z goes and that's why they're not getting into relationships is going to be about political affiliation, they make it a problem. It, it was never a problem before, but we made it a problem. If you are on the left side of the aisle, we can't date you. If you are a Trump supporter, you are also racist and you are also evil and you are also a racist. Oh, oh no, God. I, didn't mean, I don't know. I feel right. like he probably has like, a bad temper or something. He punches drywall <laughs> when he gets angry. <laughs> So you look like you have a bad temper. You look like you shoot up high schools. Oh my God, you look like you vote for Trump. Like, shut up. Like, y'all are so... One. Blue sweater. Blue. Um, two. Three, four, five. Just because I'm very big on height. I would go one, two, three, four, five. What? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Immediately, I liked the guy in the green shirt who was shorter, made eye contact, and I was like, okay, cool. Like, I think that's attractive. Okay, cool. You're short and that's attractive, but I don't like men who are Trump supporters. See, this is the problem with liberal white women. They are the quintessential just antagonists. Anything that is right in the world, no, we're not for it. No, we're just going to benefit from everybody else. We're just going to benefit from the white men that colonized the world but we're gonna pretend like we weren't in the hot tub with them we're gonna sit here and pretend like we support black people but we are actually the biggest beneficiary of affirmative action we're actually gonna start the me too movement and then just accuse all white men like it's so hard not to judge them when they openly judge others Okay. Is like connection. One, two, three, four, five. Yay. Okay. We, we're on the same boat. I mean, I feel like I like a guy who's not so skinny just because I like, you know, protection. I get like, it. I like I understand. Meat, you know? See, I told you guys once again, Chun Li is correct. Chun Li is on the money. Okay. Women like men with a little bit more build to them because we are looking at it as protection. We don't want to look like we are bigger than you based on the public perception. And this is why dad bods were in. We want to look like the attractive ones. We want you to be the protectors. Just because I like, you know, protection. I get like, it. I, like I understand. Them, you know? I, love I don't yeah. want to break them. <laughs> <laughs> I really like his eyes. Okay, he's for sure yeah. one. Yeah, you gotta come right here. The blue. Yeah. I think he's oh, yeah, number two. Yeah. Or two or three. See, I think Jorge would Actually, be Actually, no, Jorge. 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 How dare you? I really be adorable. Do. I don't really like anybody's outfits today. <laughs> the fuck? I guess these women are judging men based on their swag. Maybe that's why she thought homie with the flower pants like Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> we don't care about how you dress. Anyway, I understand we're all comfortable. I don't know. I think dressing is important. Yeah. That's fair. You, know, like, you can't make me picture them naked. That's what They add like their outfits are fly or something. Like, like legit. Like, I don't know why these women are so focused on the style when you guys are wearing loungewear, denim jackets, and like an Easter dress. Calm down. Calm down. Dressing is important. Yeah. That's fair. You, know, like, you know, can't make me picture them naked. That's weird. Surprise, surprise. 
chubby chick once again is imagining them naked. Chubby chick asked to see your booty. Chubby chick shared the fun fact that she is single AF. Why? Why? And maybe it's just like this chubby chick's problem. Maybe it's just her. But again, if these men were on the other side of the judgment and said, oh, I don't really like any of these girls' style, so I guess I'm going to imagine them naked. Don't women always talk about being objectified and here her chubby ass is going objectifying these men. It's not. Do it. <laughs> no. No. Pink shirt would go in second, and then everyone would scooch. Is everyone okay, okay with that? Let's see. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Right. Come over, Dale. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I would just like to say, what a little angel. Right. What a Top little three. angel okay. gets somewhere, not in yeah. five. <laughs> Look at his little wings. Protect him. I care more about what the girls thought than the guys, but. As you should. As you should, Roy. I do think that you're a nice guy. It, it doesn't seem like you're confrontational. It seems like you're focused on your education. Out of all of them, you're the only one that have graduated so far. And so, yeah. And honestly, I keep calling you the Asian guy, but obviously you're a Asian. Obviously, you are a mixed descent. But I'm letting you know right now, Roy, it's going to be an uphill battle. And I'm only saying that, once again, based on the OK Cupid stats, based on dating apps. Asian men are not always going to be the first one selected. So if some of you guys actually need tips or advice or just a female's perspective as far as like where you rank, please do let me know. I'm not that mean. I'm not that harsh. But at the same time, I think that I try to be somewhat realistic. So if you guys are curious, I'm gonna let you know because obviously to Roy, it's more important what the female gaze sees. That's just my own opinion. Wait, so can you just move up because I, he can't be there. Oh yeah, can we put him in third? Put him in third. Switch. You little angel for personality. Yeah. White shirt and green. White and green, I would switch. Switch it. <laughs> He's like, you heard the ladies. <laughs> I kind of feel like maybe they should switch. Yeah. I am 100% okay with this lineup. I feel like I'm Damn, okay the short king making his way up. Surprising. Surprise. Surprise. Wow, I'm surprised. Wow. Like, yes, I am surprised, but at the same time, I feel like Short King being in the middle kind of threw off my ranking because to me, he was at the bottom. And again, I've dated short guys. I've actually dated men that are my height. I'm five, three and a half. I lied. I'm five, two and a half. Okay. Just like men, I'm going to add that extra inch. I'm five, two and a half. So I've dated men that are my height. So I'm not even biased against short men, but I'm just saying based on the fact that they have five different women, I thought that short king was going to be at the end. And I told you guys, it was going to be white boy, Latin boy, Asian and or black, followed by short king. But I guess they proved me wrong. But I really do think it's because they're in California. That's not an accurate representation of America. But whatever. You did a pretty fair job. Most of us came to a consensus on it. It did definitely feel a little degrading and a little uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to be me. You the main one degrading them. You the main one. You asked to see their booties and you imagine them naked. So don't you dare sit here talking about like how degrading it felt to judge these men. You did it the most. <laughs> I think most of the girls were more personality based, which is good. But I mean, still, you can't know off one minute. I thought I was going to be lower. I stayed two the, throughout the second two rounds, so I'm, I'm content with my number two. Yeah, but that's what's attractive is a guy who is attractive but thinks he's not. Someone's looking at, at my confidence. They were like, maybe this person isn't nice or maybe this person, I wouldn't take him home to my family. Like, people make all those assumptions before they even, you know. Pause. <laughs> so he knows that that is an attractive trait. Someone that is attractive, that is humble enough and doesn't think that they're attractive makes them more attractive. So you, sir, again, remember this. He was the one that was so confident that he is attractive based on the world evidence that he's experienced. He was the one that was very okay and ready and willing to go be number one on attractiveness. Mm, strong macho guy on Vin Diesel. No, no. So therefore, what you said earlier is fact. An attractive person that does not realize they're attractive makes them more attractive. 
So I asked you, what does that make you? A mid person who thought that they were a one. And one is the highest level on the scale. So a very average person with a very below average. And honestly, the way I just stopped on this frame, it looks like he's wearing heels. <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. But yeah, like short king over here, sir. So the fact that you weren't acknowledging the fact that, so the fact that you were not acknowledging the fact that women aren't going to rank you higher, do you deserve to go one or two rank lower and therefore making Chun-Li's forecast correct? Do you want to go ahead and lower yourself because you, sir, did not realize where you stacked up? Okay, guys, so that concludes this episode. You guys obviously got my take on it because I paused so many times on this episode. So if you do have any questions as far as like what I think, do not hesitate to comment in the section down below. And again, I will see you guys again next time. Bye.